Delta Zero, Whiskey Hotel Bravo, CQ on 40 meters over. A Skylar Production. In this video, I will demonstrate the capabilities of the All Star Link system and provide instructions on linking and more. All Star Link combines amateur radio with computers with the internet, bringing new technology to a thought to be old fashioned hobby. One advantage to the All Star Link system is the full duplex capabilities. This means multiple stations can be talking at once without getting cut out. Here is a demo showing the audio quality as well as the full duplex capabilities of the All-Star system. Listen as a station in Michigan, Denver, and Pennsylvania have a conversation from local repeaters. This is some of the audio you can get out of All-Star. It's pretty decent, and uh, it will do full duplex, so if somebody talks over me, it'll be... You know, it'll be heard. Both me and the other person will be heard at the same time. All right, time. I'll talk over top of you. So they're going to full duplex. So we're both talking at the same time. We can both be heard. A multitude of uh, audio so. samples here uh, coming from uh, Michigan and uh, to Colorado and yep. duplexing with another user talking. Yep. And that was Jerry in Michigan. I might have covered him up a little bit, but you can uh, duplex with two remote nodes. And by the same token, I can say hello to Jeremy, even though hello, Jeremy Carl. is talking. Hello, Carl. I hear you in there. Since All Starlink is an open source system, it supports modification and custom scripts. Unlike the Internet Linking Radio Project, or IRLP, cheaper hardware is supported, including homebrew sound fobs. Here is a node I built for under $75, which only required two Baofeng radios and a modified sound card, and plugs into the computer with All Starlink installed. Here is a simplex node built out of an old wideband commercial radio, the SM120, and the URI, or the USB radio interface. Commercial wideband radios can be found at very low prices due to new FCC regulations. The URI is simply connected to the radio with the ground, PTT, audio in, and discriminator audio out. Here is a demonstration of my bicycle mobile setup. With this, I can link into my All-Star node at home and enjoy the All-Star link system while mobile. Um, there's also what's called family radio service, which is on UHF, and that is um, mostly little walkie-talkies, just little, little tiny radios that only are about half a watt. You are restricted legally to have one on FRS. Echo link on steroids, basically. Um, the home node is in the distance. Um, and you can. It's a voice over IP application. In this part of the video, I will show all the commands for linking, unlinking, and more. All DTMF commands in All-Star begin with an asterisk. When executing a command, key up, state your intentions, and then press the codes in your DTMF keypad. To connect to a node, enter star 3 followed by the node number. Nodes can be found on stats.allstarlink.org. You can connect to many nodes at once. Node 29571 connected to 
Node four one six nine four. To disconnect a single node, enter the command star one followed by the node number. To disconnect all links, enter the command star 71 to announce the link status or the nodes that you are currently connected to. Enter the command star 70. The system time can be announced by using star 81 and an ID can be forced by using star 80. To connect to an echolink node, use the command star 33 then the echolink number. To disconnect an echolink node, use the command star 13 then the echolink number. Remember, all echolink node numbers need to add up to six digits, so echolink nodes with four or five digits need one or two zeros on front. For more commands, view the PDF in the description. That's it for this video. Stay tuned for Raspberry Pi installation instructions.